Hi, it's Mrs. Eastman again with another mini lesson. Um, once again, if you didn't watch my other mini lesson, I am Mrs. Eastman and I'm a reading specialist at Northwood Elementary and I am helping co-teach Mr. Hutchison's second grade class until the end of the year. And this is something I wanted to review with his class, his second graders, but if there's anybody else who'd like to watch this, you're more than welcome. So, in this lesson, we're talking about R-controlled vowels. Now, you can call them R-controlled vowels, and that's what it says right here, R-controlled vowels. Or some people call them bossy R. And either way, it's the same thing. With bossy R, we have one vowel. For instance, here's an A, and one R following it. So, the vowel comes before the R, and that's very important. It's not bossy R if the vowel follows the R, only if it comes before the R. And that R is so controlling and bossy that it does not let the vowel say its short or long sound. So you really hardly hear it. And this confuses a lot of kids when they're spelling because they don't hear the vowel, they just hear the R. A lot of times they leave the vowel out. But we have to remember that every word, every word has to have at least one vowel. And some words have more than that. Some words have two vowels, like a vowel team that's making a sound together. So even though we may not hear it, we need to know it's there and we need to know it's there, especially when we spell. So, I want to talk about this poster. Um, we have the vowel R, we have the picture clue again. That will help you remember what it says. So the AR, we have a car, and the OR, we have a horn, and the ER, we have her, there's a little boy pointing to her. The IR, we have a bird, and the UR we have burn. And it's pretty tricky. You know, the AR says its own sound, R. The OR says OR. And that one's a little easier because that is a word that we already know. Like, would you like a hot dog or hamburger? But the ER, IR, and UR all say the same thing. They all say er. I call that the doggy growl. Er. And the AR, we can have some fun with that too. You can do the pirate, the pirate sound, like R D R R. So those are just some fun ways to remember them. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say them, and I want you to repeat them at home. So please participate. A R car R. O R horn or. E, R, her, er. I, R, bird, er. And you are burn, er. Good job. All right, so one vowel followed by an R is called R controlled vowel, is called an R controlled vowel or bossy R, we say R, or, er, er, er. Now, when you're spelling, these ers are kind of tough to know which one to write. I will tell you that the ER occurs most often, especially if it's at the end of a word. Think of better, butter, teacher, splinter. Those all end with ER when you hear ER. And remember, you must put the vowel with it. You must put the E with the R. A lot of times, children who are spelling will just put an R for the ER sound, but you must have the vowel with it. Now, I want to show you over here. There's something interesting. If you just have one vowel with the R, the R can be bossy. But 
over here I'm showing you. Like here is car, C-A-R, car. And the R is being bossy with the A. So we're hearing the R sound. But look what happens when I add a silent E to the end. Now I have two vowels surrounding that R. So now it's two vowels against one R. And guess what? The R can't be bossy anymore. So I'm going to code this for you. Now when I code, I'm going to be talking about a macron, which is kind of like a minus sign or a dash, and that's going to be over the vowel that says it's long sound, it's long vowel sound. And the breathe is a little smile that you put above the vowel to show the, to show the short vowel sound. So over here, this word is car, the A-R is saying R like the pirate, R-E-R-R. -R. But look what happens when I add the silent E. I'm going to put a line through the silent E because it's silent. And I'm going to put a macron above the A. And now we've gone from car to care. That A is allowed to say its long sound again. We hear A. K A er. Care. So we get to go back to the long vowel sound because we have two vowels that are now stronger than one R. Here's another example. This word is far. We have the AR, it is saying R, like car. But look what happens when I put a vowel team in there. I've added an AI. And remember that two vowels are stronger than an R. So here, we're gonna hear the A. I'm gonna put a macron and I'm going to cross off the I, because the I is silent. This is our vowel team, A-I vowel team. And A-I says A. Remember, A-I bait A. So we go from far to the word fair. Fair. It's important to play fair. Or I like to go to the fair and ride the Ferris wheel so here we have A-I, and that A is allowed to say A now. A. -er. All right, good job. I have another example. This word is fir. This is a type of tree, a fir tree. And fir is bossy R. Here's I-R, like in bird, fir. But look what happens when I add the silent E. It changes the word and that R cannot be bossy anymore. So look here, I'm going to cross off the E and put a macron above my I. That macron means the I is allowed to say its name now. It's long I. So we go from fur to fire. Did you hear the long I? I'll tap it down my arm. I. That R is no longer being bossy because there are two vowels. And two vowels are stronger than one R. Another example here is the word her. And that happened to be our picture clue right here for ER. ER, her, er. But look what I did here. I added a silent E. I'm going to cross off the silent E because it's silent. I'm going to put a macron above the first E, and that means it's long. It gets to say its name. So we go from her to here. The E is allowed to say E. Listen to it. Here. Here. So what I want you to learn from this is, if we just have one vowel with the R, the R can be bossy. It can be an R controlling I mean, the R-controlled vowel, it's controlling the vowel. Like in A-R-R, O-R-R, E-R-I-R-U-R, er. But as soon as we put either the silent E or a vowel team by that R, the R can't control the vowel anymore because two vowels are stronger than one R. 
Now, this is true in most cases. But in English, we always have rule breakers. I can't always say always. So I need to show you, over here, I have some words that say air. They don't look like they should say air. And they're not following that rule. So I just wanted to show you. This is where. Like, oh, where, oh, where did my little dog go? This is there. Oh, he's over there. So these two words, the beginning consonant digraph is okay. But the rest of the word, E-R-E, E-R-E, -E, that's saying air. It really sounds like it should be an A-I-R, but it's not. So we just have to remember this. And then here's an example too. This is where, W-E-A-R. That would be like, what clothes are you going to wear today? But look here, the W is okay, wuh. But now we have this E-A-R, really should say ear, but it's not. It's saying ear. And here's bear. I saw a bear in the woods. And again, the B is okay, but but the E-A-R, it's not saying ear, it's saying air. So, where, there, where, bear, you know, those, those follow kind of their own rules. But this is most of the time. Most of the time, two vowels will be stronger than that bossy R, and you'll get a long vowel sound. Okay, so, um, one other thing I wanted to say with it, Again, and I'm going to try to find some place to write this. Be careful. My younger students, like if they heard the word dirt, they're not hearing a vowel in there. They're hearing d -er -t. So they might write dirt like this. D-R-T. What's the problem with that? Remember, every word has to have a vowel. Does that word have a vowel? Nope. But see, if you're a beginning speller, you're not hearing a vowel because that R is being so bossy, it won't let the I say a sound. We know that we spell dirt D-I-R-T. There has to be that vowel in there. But that I-R is a bossy R. Okay, so I hope you learned something today. Once again, this is a phonics lesson. It will help you with your reading. If you come across a word you don't know, this will help you figure it out if there happens to be a bossy R syllable in it. It will help you with your spelling and your writing. So please practice this at home and do your best for mom and dad. And thanks for listening.